In this video, we are going to solve the problem. Find the sum of the last four digits of x in this expression. In the given expression, we have the square of a number having 100 digits of 3 added to another number having 100 digits of 2. We can find this sum by using two different methods. The first one is by using number theory and the second one is by using the sum of geometric series. Let's start from the first method. Since both these numbers have same number of digits and also symmetric, we can start from the unit digit of each of these numbers and move up to the hundredth digit. For the unit digit, we have 3 square plus 2 equals to 11. Now we will consider two digits which is 33 square plus 22 which is equals to 4 times 1. Now 333 square plus 222 is equals to 6 times 1. For one digit here we have 11. For two digits here we have 4 times 1 and for 3 digits here we have 6 times 1. Hence for n number of digits here and n number of digits here we have 2n number of 1. Hence in a similar way we can find the sum of 100 digits of each will be equals to 200 digits of 1. Hence this is our x in which we have 4 ones at the end. Hence the sum of the last four digits equals to 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 which is equals to 4. Hence the answer is 4. Now we will discuss the second method. Although the first method is easier, it involves a lot of calculations. Here we have to find the squares three times. Hence we can solve this problem by using the second method where we have to use where we have to use the sum of geometric series. We can write 100 times 3 equals to 3 plus 3 multiplied by 10 plus 3 multiplied by 10 square plus 3 multiplied by 10 to the power of 3 up to 3 multiplied by 10 to the power of 99. This is our 1 place this is our 10 place, this is our 100 place and so on up to 100 digits. This is for the 100th digit plus similarly we can write the 100 digits of 2 equals to 2 plus 2 multiplied by 10 plus 2 multiplied by 10 square plus 2 multiplied by 10 to the power of 3 up to plus 2 multiplied by 10 to the power of 99. In the first series, the ratio of each conjugative term is constant and equals to 10. For the first two conjugative terms, the ratio is 3 multiplied by 30 divided by 3 which is equals to 10. Also, for the second and third terms, 3 multiplied by 10 square divided by 3 multiplied by 10 which is equals to 10 and so on. Hence, this sum is in geometric progression where the first term a is equals to 3, common ratio r is equals to 10 and number of terms of this geometric progression n is equals to 100. We have 100 digits. Now, for the second term also, we have the ratio of two consecutive terms 2 multiplied by 10 divided by 2 equals to 10 and for the second and third one we have 2 multiplied by 10 square divided by 2 multiplied by 10 equals to 10 and so on. Hence this is also constant. Since the ratio of two consecutive terms is constant, this sum is also in geometric progression 
with a value equals to 2 which is the first term r value equals to 10 and n value equals to 100. The sum of a geometric series can be calculated by using this formula Sn equals to a multiplied by r to the power of n minus 1 divided by r minus 1. Hence, x equals to the sum of the first series square plus the sum of the second series. This gives x equals to for the first series we have a equals to 3 multiplied by r equals to 10 10 to the power of n equals to 100 minus 1 divided by r minus 1 which is 10 minus 1 to the whole square plus for the second term a is equals to 2 multiplied by r is equals to 10 to the power of 100 n equals to 100 minus 1 divided by r minus 1 which is 10 minus 1. Now this gives 3 multiplied by 10 to the power of 100 minus 1 divided by 9 square plus 2 multiplied by 10 to the power of 100 minus 1 divided by 9. Here 3 and 9 will cancel out to give 3 at the denominator and 3 square is equal to 9. Hence this gives 1 divided by 9 multiplied by 10 to the power of 100 minus 1 to the whole square plus 2 divided by 9 multiplied by 10 to the power of 100 minus 1. Now we have 1 upon 9 and 1 upon 9 common here. Taking 1 upon 9 common gives 1 upon 9 multiplied by this is in the form of a minus b whole square a minus b whole square where a is equals to 10 to the power of 100 and b is equals to 1. This gives 1 upon 9 multiplied by a minus b whole square is a square which is 10 to the power of 100 square plus b square which is 1 square which is 1 minus 2ab 2 multiplied by h 10 to the power of 100 and b is 1 plus now we have after taking 1 upon 9 common here we are remaining 2 multiplied by 10 to the power of 100 minus 1 hence we have to add 2 multiplied by 10 to the power of 100 minus 1 here. Now this gives 1 upon 9 multiplied by 10 to the power of 100 squared is 10 to the power of 200 plus 1 minus 2 multiplied by 10 to the power of 100 plus multiplying 2 here gives 2 multiplied by 10 to the power of 100 minus 2 minus 2 multiplied by 10 to the power of 100 and plus 2 multiplied by 10 to the power of 100 will cancel out to give 1 upon 9 multiplied by 10 to the power of 200 plus 1 minus 2 is minus 1. This is equals to 1 upon 9 multiplied by 10 to the power of 200 minus 1 can be written as 200 times 9. 200 times 9. This up to 200 digits. Because when we subtract 1 from 10 to the power of 200 it will give 200 digits of 9. Now this 9 will cancel out with each 9 of these 200 digits to give 200 times 1 and this is equals to x. Hence the last 4 digits of x has 1 1 1 and 1. Hence the sum of the last 4 digits equals to 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 which is equals to 4. Hence the answer is 4. We get the same answer 4 from both the methods.